Rub up your engines! Martinez says, Scotty, would you buy a Camry or a hybrid Camry? Why? I buy a regular Camry. I'm not a hybrid fan because I'm a cheapskate. I keep my cars forever. And when they age and you find out if you want a real Camry hybrid battery, when the battery goes bad, six, seven thousand dollars installed. You can get rebuilt ones that aren't worth crap that might last a year or two for a couple thousand, but uh, and if the generator goes bad, motor starter generator on that thing that's like six thousand dollars so i'm not a fan of hybrid the regular cameras go good they go a long time there's nothing wrong with them i, I see no no reason to buy a hybrid version myself and they cost a lot more too the hybrids cost more money to make they're much more complicated and when they do break they're much more complicated to fix too thick boy says scotty i just bought an o2 honda civic with only 138,000 miles of transmission is slipping i tried lucas oh, i hate to tell you once those hondas start slipping they're shot unless it was low on fluid they'll slip when they're low on fluid but if it's full of fluid and it's slipping it's just worn out the automatic clutches are worn out and they start to slip some of the hondas are that way you said you just bought it it's 18 years old uh, you should have had a mechanic check it out because i'm sure it was slipping before you bought it and you just didn't notice it where a mechanic when they road tested i road tested one the other day for a customer and i said don't buy it the transmission's starting to slip they didn't buy it strangely enough they found another one within an hour and brought that and it was fine they bought that one so I always have a mechanic check out any used vehicle ATV Alk Monster says if you could have any car free of charge what would it be and why well it'd be the 2013 Shelby Cobra GT500 that I had for Ford for a week because it had 667 horsepower and it rode like an absolute monster but it also purred like a kitten if you drove it slow my wife liked it because I only drove slow when she was in it when she was out of it I drove like a lunatic so I would take one of those definitely a 2013 Shelby Cobra GT500 with a six-speed standard transmission and a supercharger. Brian Mendoza says, just got an O2 Tacoma with 115,000 super clean. Should I replace the ball joints since they usually go out? Yes, go ahead and change them. I just changed six months ago, uh, two of them on a customer's car. I did one side and then the other side was kind of worn, so I changed them both. I mean, why not? They're, they don't cost all that much money. You can get aftermarket ones. They bolt off, they bolt on. Go ahead and change them now and you'll be safe and not have to think about it. Suraj Khanda says, what do you think of Honda Elements? Oh, they're excellent vehicles especially with the standard transmission I got a customer who's got 250,000 miles to the standard transmission I mean they are well made cars bit boxy shape but that's what they're made for and they got those cool floors that you can just hose them out if you go to the beach so you don't have rugs you got those cool plastic and rubber inside you can just hose them and clean them they originally made them for surfers in California to get the short surfboard stick them in and clean them out I knew the guy who was the design engineer for them DC Batman 25 Gaming says is a Magnum V8 a good reliable engine yes they're good engines they're very good strong V8 engines there's no arguing that they're well made the rest of the vehicles that Chrysler puts them in not so hot the electronics stink the transmission smell the ACs are always blowing up but it's a good engine <laughs> Richie Ronald says, hello from Canada, Scotty. What do you think about a 2015 Mazda 3 or CX-3 manual or automatic made in Mexico? Well, numero uno, as long as you're talking about Mexico, I would say make sure it's a manual transmission. Either one of them. And it can be decent vehicles. The automatics back then, not so hot. Now the newer ones, they got a deal going with Toyota. They do have better automatic transmissions on them. But the old ones, if you get a manual, now it is made in Mexico and, you know, the quality is lower there. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But they can still be decent cars with the standard transmission. Dino Wu says, can you talk about Lexus GX460 maintenance? Yes, that's the reason I tell people not to buy them, not to buy any V8 Lexus. The maintenance is sky high. Let's say the starter goes out. You're going to pay over a thousand bucks because you got to take the intake manifold and the engine off. I had a customer with a 460 the other day. The brake master cylinder went out. It was Part of a whole assembly with the nitrogen booster and computer stuff and it was sixteen hundred dollars just for the part my wife's 300 Lexus master cylinder I can pick them up for 149 and they work perfectly fine not for them the parts are expensive the maintenance is heavy I don't advise buying V8 Lexuses yeah you want to spend the money and you like the car they're nice cars but man they cost a lot to maintain once they get over 100k on the odometer Ronaldo Messi says how long does a rebuilt transmission last well that's a very good question unfortunately I often don't 
don't last all that long. If you got a transmission that was brand new, got a hundred something thousand miles and it broke and somebody rebuilt it, generally they don't last as long as the original one did because when they rebuild it, they don't replace everything. They generally go through parts that they think are worn and replace them. So the rebuilt ones generally, you're lucky if you get 50, 60 percent of the original mileage out of the things. Take care of your transmission because once it goes out, uh, it's big money and the most you're ever going to get is maybe a two year warranty from people. So uh, better to take care of the one you have because the rebuilds, they often don't last that long. And I've had people get them rebuilt at shops and they still don't work just right. And they say, oh, wow, well, that's as good as it's going to get. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. La, la, la. So I'm not a fan of rebuild transmissions myself take care of them and if it does start to go out hey usually better to get another car the strange person no one knows asks Scotty 2002 Dodge Neon for free well what do they say don't look a gift horse in the mouth if it's free what the heck if it's free and it runs it goes down the road go right ahead then if the engine or transmission goes out jump the stupid thing those were one of the worst cars ever made they were all made in Mexico uh, we actually rented one we went to the Dallas State Fair years ago with the kids we had some free plane tickets to Dallas so we went and then we rented the Dallas Dodge Neon and it was a whopping like 10 15 mile trip to the state fair from the airport my wife said what a horrible car that's the worst riding car we were ever in so <laughs> but if it's free and it runs what the heck they don't make them anymore for very good reasons Larry Lord says just got an 09 Toyota Highlander are the engines good in those SUVs they're excellent engines I got a customer with one he's got the V6 he's got 550,000 miles on that thing and it still runs like a clock now those things are well made you change the oil regularly don't overheat them take care of them change the coolant once every seven years with the Toyota coolant those things can run indefinitely you made a good choice. Paul Fontes says, Scotty, when will electric cars take over? Well, it's probably not going to be for quite some time, seeing that the price of oil is down, the price of electric cars is way up in the stratosphere. I think it's going to be a long time before they become mainstream. You're going to have to have all kinds of electronic charging stations, and they don't even know what kind of electric cars are going to be. As they stand now, the ones with lithium ion batteries, they're big, they're heavy, they cost a lot of money, there's only a limited amount of lithium out, they might not even become popular. It might end up being hydrogen fuel cell cars that don't need batteries at all. They're both electric cars. They run on hydrogen and hey, if they uh, figure out how to make hydrogen cheap, people will be driving around in hydrogen powered fuel cell cars and as the interim goes, you can run any car we're driving today on hydrogen. Do minor modifications, any gasoline engine can run on hydrogen. The US Air Force did an experiment with trucks, cars, even airplanes running on it. So they can run on it. It'd be a more of a transition with hydrogen than it would make sense to go just gas, pfft, all of a sudden go to electricity. Eh, I think hydrogen makes more sense. JMAC87051 says, how can I get better gas mileage on my F-150, 2009 F-150? Well, they're big trucks and they're gas hogs. That's just the way that they are. Now, carry less weight. If you got a heavy toolbox, take it out if you're not using it. Use good gas, keep your air pressure correctly in the tires because you get them too high or too low, they get worse gas mileage. And of course, drive conservatively. The faster you go, the worse your gas mileage. But it's a big truck. It's not going to get great gas mileage. That's just how trucks are. And if you tow things, you're really going to get horrible gas mileage. That's why I tell people, if you're big on towing and you're going to tow a lot of stuff, get a diesel engine. A diesel engine, it might get 16 miles a gallon towing a heavy load and you might think well that stinks tow that same heavy load with a gas engine and get four or five miles a gallon so that's why i tell people diesels if you're going to tow heavy weights lucas car review says what do you think of the lincoln town car they were great big giant limo cars that's why they use them for taxi cabs and stuff for ages for the fancy taxi cabs on the highway they're not bad it cost me the other day hey he was getting 28 miles a gallon in that thing now in town he gets about 12 but on the highway they got decent gas much and they had a big v8 engine that could last forever for what they are, a big giant limo vehicle, they are well-made vehicles. You can accept the low gas mileage in town and the okay gas mileage on a highway and a smooth ride. There's nothing wrong with them. James Salt said, Scotty, all the years as a mechanic, you never had a shot to pull vehicles in? I got a driveway and I got a garage, you know, that's good enough. <laughs> I used to when I was younger and in better shape. I just pushed them in by myself. I pushed a full-size Cadillac in by myself. It was just a slight incline, right? Well, now I'm getting old and I can't do that. So what I do is a company sent me one of these winches. It's a 110 volt winch. So I plug it in and it's got a 100 foot steel cable. In a garage, I just have a post and I wrap a strap around it and then connect the winch 
and then I just let the cable out, put it in the street, push a button, it pulls it in the driveway. It's a lot easier than pushing. I'm getting old. <laughs>